things are not going great for the ACC right now in court, and I think things are about to get quite a bit worse. They were just handed another big-time L. They are facing another setback, and I think it's going to have an impact on the quickness at which some of these court cases get resolved between Florida State, Clemson, the ACC, and maybe others if they jump in as well. I'm going to tell you what happened, but what's way more important than that is why this terrifies the ACC and probably ESPN as well. Let's get to what happened here very quickly, but if you are joining us for the first time or returning to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button to let us know that you appreciate the content. Whether you agree with everything we say or don't, that's completely okay. I appreciate you guys, though, for letting me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. I like the interaction. I like the engagement that we get on our videos, and let's continue that. Listen to what happened, though. Matt Baker of the Tampa Bay Times put out a report today, and what he has uncovered and what we found out is that the ACC must hand over all documents to Clemson regarding the ACC ESPN contract with no redactions. However, the documents must remain confidential. They can't just go post them to every message board out there or share them with the public, but they do get to see the agreement that ESPN and the ACC have fought like hell to keep out of anyone else's hands. The same agreement that you would have to go to the headquarters with and you weren't allowed to take pictures of and you could only spend a certain amount of time with. They treat this thing like it's national treasure and you're looking at the declaration, but they will now get a copy of it. Clemson, within seven days, will have a copy of this. We're going to talk about why that's a win for Clemson and ultimately for FSU as well. But just know the ACC is likely to appeal here, and they're likely to lose again, which shows how much they don't want these documents getting out. It's a huge win for Clemson because now Clemson and Florida State will eventually know. Florida State, I expect, will eventually get something similar. They will essentially know what they're fighting against. Half of this issue, half of this battle has just been they don't even know what they're up against because they can't see the agreement to which their futures are bound. Now, this is a big, big deal. ESPN does not want this document out there. They don't want any member institutions to have access to this. And there is a chance that this causes ESPN to accelerate pulling the plug on the ACC using the composition clause. We already saw that they were prepared to pull the plug on them in 2027 if Florida State and Clemson left early this summer, triggering it. And I think that ultimately this just adds more gasoline to that fire. I think there's a really good chance that what we've talked about, Florida State, Clemson, leaving, announcing that they are gone before that July 1st deadline is something that is being considered right now. There's another piece of information that just came out that we'll get to in a moment that increases my belief that that could be the way this thing is headed. I haven't forgotten about those videos. I, I haven't all of a sudden just tried to ignore them. Yeah, I said that I think there's a really good chance that Florida State announces they're leaving before July 1st. There's a good chance Clemson does the same, and that triggers a composition clause. That triggers the conference breaking apart and ESPN being able to just strip the media part of the agreement away. Now, I've said that I think that's the smartest move for Florida State. I think it's the smartest move for Clemson. But now, is ESPN maybe incentivized to get this done faster? Because they don't want that contract out there for others to eventually have their hands on. If Clemson's going to get it, you better believe that Florida State and others will get access to it eventually as well. What is that July 1st date? Again, as a reminder, that's when Cal, Stanford, and SMU join. Now, again, does it make more sense for ESPN to get out of this, to get away from this, to not have this case be drug on and eventually things become public knowledge? And we can only continue to speculate there what the attorneys will do, what the lawsuit side of things look like. But I continue to vouch that I think it makes the most sense for Florida State to announce that they are leaving before or on June 30th. Florida State and the ACC also agreed to push back mediation until, you guessed it, 
July 1st, which is certainly an interesting date that we've been talking about all along. And we've mentioned a hundred times on this channel already. Now, maybe that's just coincidental. Maybe it's not. But why would you go to a mediation with someone when you knew that you were about to set off a bomb and you were going to blow the whole thing up anyway? Why would you do that before it mattered? I don't think you would. And I think getting a July 1st date out there as a potential starting date for mediation is hilariously ironic, if nothing else. There's a good chance that Florida State announces before then. And then we have emergency filings, emergency cases that happen. They get all this wrapped up quite a bit sooner. Settlements are coming in this. I completely believe that still. I believe that at the end of the day, this will get settled. I think there's a really good chance it gets settled sooner rather than later. What would prevent a Florida State or a Clemson from blowing this thing up? I think a settlement would. Florida will follow suit. I, I would be absolutely shocked if the home cooking judge, the Florida State two-time grad judge, doesn't do the same thing that South Carolina has just done and grant Florida State access to that ESPN ACC document. I'd be shocked if that doesn't happen. I, I believe within all of me that that is the route this will go. And the ACC ultimately doesn't want that. ESPN doesn't want that. And so I think settlements are coming. You know, the winner is coming meme with, uh, from uh, Game of Thrones, settlements are coming. And it's going to happen in the summer. We're not necessarily waiting for winter on this. I, I think it's sooner rather than later. Now, Florida State gets out. Clemson gets out. Cost, price, I, I'm not the expert there. I, I certainly have my thoughts. We can talk about that in a future video. But where do they end up? Where does Clemson land? Where does Florida State land? I think that's what is to be determined. And we talked about that in the video on the screen now. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and click it.